All right. <clears throat> so I dropped a new YouTube video last night uh, before I went to bed seven hours ago. Uh, it has a few views, 557 views. Not bad. Uh, my last two videos got about 9,000, 8,000 views. Did pretty good in the past week. And the latest video, I just want to know if there's any early comments. I just want to review it together. Okay, there's there's like four, not bad. Let's review it together and see what the initial thoughts are. Um, the purpose of the video I dropped yesterday was to only show you how to get the new driver update to work. I didn't do any, and then I also showed you my benchmark of what the performance looked like. I think I was hitting about 147 frames per second um, when I did the test, but I didn't really get into playing games, uh, going into matches, seeing if there's any stuttering issues, game crashes, frame drops, things like that. Uh, so just let's let's dive in and, and see what people are saying. Uh, check your mic. Can't hear you. Yeah, yesterday was a terrible day to make it, that video because just getting that driver to work, and then also when you're installing the driver, my GeForce Experience recording stops working. So I had to use my camera audio, which wasn't the best. So I apologize for that. Uh, still crashes in campaign and multiplayer. Just ran a two-hour session and crashed three times. Big sad. Uh, what GP do you have, bro? Same. This is annoying at this point. We have nine replies on this one, bro. The driver runs worse than five one seven point four eight. What GP do you have? Thirty seventy. Okay, you're a thirty ser series um, user. I have a thirty eighty, so no different. Uh, the game is stuttering so hard since I've downloaded the newest driver update. Uh, yeah, I have a 3070 as well. Um, I don't know what they're thinking. Dropping Warzone 2 with that game like this. Warzone is going to run so much worse. Hmm. That is true to a certain extent. I'll get into it in a second. Uh, so sick of nowadays game releases and run. <laughs> uh, I think from what I've read on Reddit about a new driver so far it helped a lot of people f having the 4090 series though 30 series owners have worse performance now than before might go back to 517 yeah i think i'm going to do the same uh yo i set m my max frame rate to the lowest fps i hit in a game user 522.25 i just upgraded the newest version they are bad i lost 40 fps using 3060 it's something to do with nvidia drivers okay a lot of bad reviews um on this video again my intention of this video was to only show you how to get the new driver update to work let's go ahead and test and see if these initial theories or these comments are true uh, because yesterday i literally made the video it took me all day and then I went straight to bed because I was so freaking tired. So let's go ahead and open up the game and uh, we'll fire up some games and I'll show you my in-game settings again. I urge you to please use the same in-game settings I have as much as you can uh, because that makes a huge difference. Believe it or not, when I played campaign, I had the same issues as you guys. I had a lot of crashes, a lot of... And knowing things that happened in between the game um that i had to go and change my in-game settings to make sure i can play the game um i know that's not the ideal response you're looking for obviously this game has been developed for three years you would expect the game to be optimized to the fullest but that's just not the case especially with warzone coming out next week you don't want to be caught up in this you want to make sure that your game is working from day one so I'm going to do that right now again. I know I showed it in the video yesterday, but I, I urge you to try your best to match these settings. Some things may not be this, the same for you. For example, like the monitor and stuff, that's fine. Your your GPU, whatever you have, may, you know, it's going to it's going to be status quo. But I'm just going to show you some initial you know settings that really help me so dynamic resolution i've turned that off uh aspect ratio is automatic v-sync is off v-sync menu is off uh custom frame rate limit this is freaking important please make sure you've set this to custom 
and then you make sure that the gameplay custom frame rate limit is 300 your menu custom frame rate limit is 60 and your out of focus custom frame rate is 30. you want to make sure you have these the menu is the most important part your gpu doesn't need to work hard during the menu to hit 300 frames per second it just doesn't make sense it heats up your gpu it's unnecessary gpu load um so definitely set it at custom and leave this at 60. that's going to eliminate some of those stutters and crashes in the menu right i'm assuming a lot of you are having issues in the menu where your game crashes or starts stuttering you can't choose the proper class or change your attachments because your gpu is freaking heating up to the max so make sure it's set to 60. i can't i can't okay please just listen to me uh next one out of focus custom frame rate leave that as 30. um shaders make sure it's optimized uh display gamma i have it at 2.2 srgb um brightness that doesn't matter focus mode is off okay quality under quality uh my resolution is 1440p that's the monitor i have so it's a, it, you know that's what it is make sure it's just set to 100 though any monitor you have make sure it's 100. Uh, upscaling sharpening fidelity fx cast i have it at 90. uh anti-aliasing is at sma82t2x uh, the quality is set to low uh, video memory scale is 90 now this one I'm gonna mention is very important anything above very low will make your game stutter crash annoying to deal with so make sure this is set to very low you can you'll notice the VRAM jump when I go to low you see that instantly it's increasing I have I believe it's a I have 64 gigs of RAM so even with the amount of RAM I have setting it to low disrupts everything so make sure you're setting that to very low uh, to ensure you're getting a smooth experience now the quality of the game may look terrible that's unfortunate it's something we kind of have to just deal with temporarily until this game is fully optimized to the max I'm sure these developers do know the developers at Beanox who you know optimize the version for the PC um, are definitely playing this they're they're checking this out they know that these issues exist they are trying their best weekly to drop these updates to keep getting better so far however it's getting worse from your I can see I read your comments every day so that's what it looks like uh, for me so far I haven't I haven't run those issues because I'm troubleshooting this every day so again anyways that speaks to again the game settings make sure you're following this so texture resolution keep it at very low uh, the next three items here are high uh, clutter draw distance short particle quality high particle quality level high bullet impacts I turn it off that's just a personal preference this doesn't really impact much shader quality is high tessellation is off terrain memory is max on-demand texture streaming if you have this on you're doing yourself a disservice uh, at this stage, obviously, if the game was optimized, just like Mono Warfare 2019, obviously, turning it on would give you better, you know, experience in game, especially for Warzone. But if you're looking for the max frames, then obviously turn this off because it's it's using a lot of your GPU resources and your VRAM and all that stuff. So I turn it off. Uh, so please make sure to turn it off. Uh, streaming quality is normal uh volumetric quality is low off water off uh shadow map resolution very low screen space shadows off um spot shadow low spot cache low particle qual uh, lighting is low ambient is off uh screen is off static reflection quality is off or low weather grid volumes off nvidia reflex is on and then the motion blurs are all turned off of the field this is a preference to be honest this doesn't really change anything much so you can turn this on or off my film grain is zero percent because that thing is annoying uh view settings these are again personal preference these are my settings if you want to follow it sure but it doesn't change anything there um and that's about it okay so let's now get into the game um in the video i dropped yesterday i did uh show you that 
uh, I showed you my benchmarks and you got to see that my frames was hitting about 147 now I don't I wouldn't necessarily say that was the high that's the highest frames I've gotten in game um, especially in the last two driver updates I've I've definitely gone over 200 so let's just see if we're hitting there um, and um, this is our first video where we're actually testing the newest update. <clears throat> right now it's loading the game. Usually it freezes here. See, and now it's back up. All right, so as I was making this video, I noticed my audio completely crapped out on me technology right anyways um so i played in total three games uh to see if there were any in-game crashes frame drops stuttering any of those issues um so right off the bat the first thing i noticed was in the menu i had no issues whatsoever uh long as you're following my instructions where you cap the custom frame rate limit the menu frame rate limit in particular at 60 you're not going to have any issues there uh i noticed when especially when i played the campaign that my at the start of the menu my game was acting up and so once i switched uh the custom frame rate to 60 that eliminated that issue and, and that was just simply because your gpu you know was you know being used up uh, like a lot and so to combat that you know you don't want the the most frames during the menu so when i limited it to 60 uh it stopped acting up again like i mentioned so definitely uh make sure you do that uh second thing in game i had zero crashes between all three games and i'm just kind of going to go back and forth between the three games that i played uh, and then I noticed definitely not frame drop, but after the new update, I'm getting lesser frames than the previous two updates. So what I mean by that is on the, s the second video that I dropped, uh, with the, the hot fix video, that driver gave me more frames it was i was hitting about 200 to 210 frames whereas in this new driver update i'm getting about 120 130 max i've seen was 150. now in one particular game i noticed i was getting more frames and i just found out why and i'm, I'm glad i'm actually able to re-record this audio now and that's because right now this map actually i don't know if you've seen the tiktok videos or the youtube videos this map in particular actually loads up the entire warzone map that's how you get to see those cool videos on tiktok where people get out of this map and go to high rise and terminal and all these sorts of different maps that's because this map in particular uses way more resources than the other maps so the hotel map i played i actually got way more frames that's because that one doesn't load warzone this game mode, this map in particular, loads the entire Warzone map, hence it uses more resources, so my frames are lowered. I don't know if you guys know that, maybe that's something to take into consideration when you are testing on your end, when you update the new driver updates. So when I played Hotel, I was getting way more frames, at one point I did peak at 200, but that doesn't still change the fact that I think the driver update before this was still giving me the best optimized version of the game compared to this one. They are still improving. I, I think they are improving in other areas, but you know, we're just, just we're just not there yet. We are not at a level where Modern Warfare 2019 was, where it was more uh, well uh, polished. Uh, we will eventually, right? Warzone comes out next week. I hope there's a bigger patch, a bigger update coming. Uh, and I will cover that for sure when it when it drops. But currently, this is you know this is my observation uh, after testing and playing three games. Uh, so again, here you notice that my frames per second for in the menu is sitting at about 60, and that's because I capped it so that I don't experience any further issues.
right? Uh, so it's going to stick at 60 while the game loads. And then once the game loads in, that's when I can get the the most frames as you know, as my GPU can push, right? And again, this isn't a hardware issue, guys. It, th this isn't because your 30 series, 40 series, or even 20 series cards are the issues. This is a software issue. So I have hopes that they're going to continue to listen to the gamers, uh, provide your feedback at the NVIDIA customer care support uh, Twitter handle, provide as much feedback as possible because they're going to keep working on this and continue to keep fixing things and making things better for gamers. Uh, so that's just my little testing I did today. Uh, it's 6 a.m. guys, and uh, I uh, don't judge me on the gameplay here. I just simply talking and playing at the same time. It's a little bit harder to focus while you're doing that. I mean, I, I mean, I guess that's what streamers do, right? Anyways, um, I hope this helps. Please let me know your thoughts in comments below. Uh, after changing the in-game settings, did it help you at all? And uh, please also make sure that you disable that hardware GB GPU scheduling in your computer. Make sure to turn that off. That also makes a huge difference. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I will read and reply back as early as possible. Uh, but until then, until another hot fix comes out, uh, I hope this video helps you and I will catch you on the next one. And please, 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 please make sure you subscribe and, and like this video. It really helps support the channel uh i am at about 600 subscribers uh i need to get to a thousand subscribers to start monetizing on youtube so your subs uh, your subscribing to this channel will go a long way and it will definitely help me continue to push more content out and give you more information on what i think about and how to optimize and recommended settings, things like that for Modern Warfare 2 and other games uh, in the future. So uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you have a great day. Bye.